the wilderness must be explored. Now that's a fine sentiment if I've ever heard one. Though if there isn't any wilderness close at hand, exploring one's own neighborhood can be just as rewarding. Let's welcome Russell. Mr. Frederickson, are you home? Cause I just knocked a bunch of times and it doesn't sound like you're home. Maybe he just turned his hearing aid down. I should ask louder, just in case. It's been a while and he hasn't answered. So either his hearing aid really is off or he's taking Doug for a walk. Probably the second one. I'll go wait for him in his backyard till he gets home. He said that's okay for me to do if I want. Well, so long as I don't step on his azaleas. But I'd never do that. A wilderness explorer is a friend to all azaleas. Let's send Russell to wait for Mr. Frederickson. Oh, hey, that blue jay from the other day is still flying around. Her nest must be in one of these trees. I'm sure glad that translator color I made out of Mr. Munson's stuff worked on her that one time. And it's all because of my wilderness explorer training. The arts and crafts patch has a lot of requirements. I almost made some lanyards instead, but then I decided translator colors would be more fun. Actually, Mr. Munz is sorta of why I'm here. I have to do a history of exploration project for the wilderness explorers. And even though he tried to drop me out of his blimp that one time, Mr. Munz is still the explorer I know the most about. And Mr. Frederickson knows even more about Mr. Munz than I do, so I thought he'd be good at helping me with facts and stuff. I already know where I'm gonna pin my new history of exploration badge once I get it too. Right here. Let's send Russell to make space on his explorer's sash. Maybe I should put it next to the conservation badge instead. The course might look better that... Woof! Whoa! Looks like I'm not getting my navigation badge today. I almost tripped over this... Uh, what is this? Looks like some kind of crate or something. Why is Mr. Frederickson keeping something like this out on his porch? Hey wait! This is one of Mr. Munz's old crates! I can tell cause it still smells like a museum. And also, it's got his name on it. Whoa, I didn't know Mr. Frederickson still had so much of Mr. Munz's stuff. He sold the spirit of adventure so he could buy this house and he gave most of the sciencey things away to museums. He must have had his leftover. Gavin photos, a cane... Whoa, is that an old-timey tape recorder? Where is the play button on? A flying house? What is Alpha talking about? Must be a translator malfunction. Let's build Carl's house. Better head out to the cave entrance and see what all the hubbub's about, just in case. Wow! This is a diary from Mr. Munz, put on tape, and I think he's talking about Mr. Frederickson's old house. This would be perfect for my history of exploration project. It's actual history. I gotta ask Mr. Frederickson if I can ask me what now. 
Mr. Frederickson! Uh, a lot, actually. I hope you're not busy. A history project, huh? Well, if it will help set a record straight about months, I'm all for it. And you'll be doing me a favor by helping me sort through this crate too. Been meaning to get to that for a weeks now. Gee, thanks Mr. Frederickson. I'll make sure to say your name extra loud in the thank you section at the end. <laughs> Don't mention it, kid. Now, do you mind playing back that tape recording again? I wanna make sure I'm caught up. Let's send Russell to play the part about Carl's house. <laughs> and about half an hour later, that same guy would be sicking a pack of hunting dogs on us. Yeah, and I never got to eat that hot dog either. You're right, Russell. A lot of injustices were done to us that day. Yeah, and I remember all of them. Want me to tell you? My hot dog trying to hurt Kevin. It's funny. As we hustled out of the dining room, I couldn't help thinking I didn't even get to see the Yeti. Whoa, Mr. Munz had a Yeti? And he didn't even tell us! Well, an alleged Yeti knowing him, but he was supposed to have captured one back in the 30s, it was all over the papers. When I saw a clipping about it on Ellie's wall, I knew she was a fellow Munz fan. Let's send Russell to hear a story about Carl's house. That's how I broke my arm. Whoa, I've gotten a lot better in gym class since our trip, but I don't think I could do a balance beam walk like that. Well, you're in good company because clearly I couldn't either. That was the thing about Ellie. She was the kind of person who was worth going out on a limb for. Huh. For some reason, I really want to climb a tree now. One time at the zoo, when the African wild dog enclosure got damaged, Ellie roped me into helping lure them back to... Wait! Sorry to interrupt you, Mr. Frederickson, but that reminded me. Where is Doug? I thought you were out walking him before. Oh, I was, but I trained him to um, take care of his business by himself a while back. Less of a hassle for me that way. If you'd like, you can go around front and let him know what we're up to. He should be finished by now. Hopefully. Let's send Russell to call out for Doug. Doug! Doug! It's me, Russell! From next door! Are you... Small mailman! It is you! I did not know that you were here, and now I do know that you are here, and I love you! <laughs> down, dog, down! It's good to see you too. And then, after I was all done with the good fire hydrant, I dig the hole. The digging the hole part was not what Papa trained me to do, but I digged it anyway. I like digging. Oh, I did that too, on our trip to South America, right before I met Kevin. Gee, I bet you're as qualified for a wilderness hygiene patch as I am. Let's send Russell to ponder Turk's wilderness skills. Okay, how about fire safety? Did Mr. Frederickson teach you that? Oh yes, after I smelt and found the fire, Papa trained me to stop, drop and roll over. That is how a fire gets dead. Huh, well, how about botany? Oh. What is a botany? It's like... Well, what is that over there? Oh, I know that. That is a tree. Hey, you know botany too. You're a talking dog and a smart dog. Hello again, you two. What's the holdup? You decide to redecorate my front yard or what? Oh, hey, Mr. Frederickson. Doug and I just got distracted looking at trees. <laughs> yeah, that happens to the best of us sometimes. Gotta make sure they don't make any sudden movements. What do you mean, Mr. Frederickson? 
trees can sway a little bit, but they can't really move. Are you sure about that? Did I ever tell you about a storm of 58? Let's send Russell to listen to a story about the house. It took most of our Paradise Falls money and a whole lot of elbow grease, but we eventually got that roof damage fixed. Whoa, all by yourselves? Yep, and we replanted the town trees in the front yard too. Ellie and I were real DIYers in those days. Whoa, I don't even know what that stands for, but it sounds amazing! DIY, dig it. But there aren't any tree words that start with Y, unless it was a Jew tree. Well, that's enough reminiscing for one day. I don't know about you, but I could go for a nice cold lemonade about now. Yes, I am thirsty too. Can you put some new cold water in my water bowl, Papa? Please, please, please. <laughs> sure thing, Doug. Russell, why don't you meet us out back whenever you're done leaf watching? Huh? Oh, sorry, lemonade would be good. And I'll be there soon. I was just in the middle of thinking about something. Let's send Russell to reflect on wilderness exploration. Gymnastics, advanced animal training, carpentry, plant husbandry. Whoa, if Mr. Fredrickson was a wilderness explorer, he'd have even more badges than me and Doug put together. I guess that make him a senior senior wilderness explorer. He's kind of senior already. You know, I was going to do my project on Mr. Munz because he was from history and in newspapers and magazines and stuff. But if you think about it, after he got to Paradise Falls, he really only explored one thing over and over and over again. And if you think about Mr. Fredrickson, he did lots of different wilderness explorer stuff without even leaving town. And when he did leave town... Let's send Russell to think back on Carl's house. Well, there isn't a badge for landing your house on top of a waterfall, but there should be. And I know because I asked my wilderness explorer leader if I could put one on my sash. He said he didn't think so. But thinking about this gave me an idea. I have to go tell Mr. Fredrickson about it right away. Hello again, Russ. Oh, that's a serious expression. Anything a lemonade can fix. Thank you, Mr. Fredrickson, but lemonade can wait until a little later. I have official business to do first. <clears throat> I would like to ask you... Let's welcome Carl Fredrickson. You want to do your history of exploration project on me? Yes, sir. When you think about it, you're the best explorer I know. That means a lot, Russell. It really does. Is there anything you'd like me to do to make your project better? I hadn't thought about that. I guess just walk around and do Mr. Fredrickson stuff, so the public can see you. <laughs> well, I'm glad. The public is an easy sell. I've been meaning to get some exercise in any way. Alright, you want action? I'll give you action. Get off your keister, Russell. We're taking our lemonades to go. Oh boy, oh boy. Does that mean we are going on a walk? Because I have just went on a walk. But I also like second walks. Yeah, you come too, Doug. The sooner I get my blood flowing, the sooner Russell here can give me a proper interview. Okay, I just have to get my official Wilderness Explorer's Wilderness Notebook out of my backpack. Let's send Carl to walk and talk.
Well, I saw it on opening night. Not at the theater you and I went to, of course. In 1977, that place wasn't restored yet. Whoa, did you go in costume? Because I remember my dad saying a lot of people did that. No, how could we have? It was the first one in the series. Ellie and I wouldn't have known what to go as. She did try to talk me into dressing up for the sequel though, as the two robots, you know, what's his face and the tall one. Somewhere in one of her photo albums, there's a picture of me wrapped up to my eyeballs in tinfoil. You know, there is an ID for your project. My old photo albums. I've still got a couple of them up in the attic. I don't think there's anything too exploratory in there, but if you're looking for pictures of the house, or of me and Ellie, Mr. Frederiksen, I know I say this kind of thing a lot, but those photo albums must be explored. Let's send Carl and Russell to see photos of Carl's house. That was when we tried to learn to ballroom dance. Ellie, now she was a natural, but me? Eh. If you do put that photo in your project, better add a note saying I tripped over the carpet about 5 seconds later. <laughs> I will, but only because it's more historical that way. Well, you know what they say, adventure is out there, even if you've got two left feet. Thank <laughs> you.